Hello, hello, fellow Earth sign of Taurus. For my Taurians here, this is going to be a new moon in Aquarius reading for you guys. Tarot is timeless, though these can be events that have already happened, that are currently taking place, or that will unfold for some of you. Taurus is here in the near future. And don't get too caught up in the genders here because tarot is gender neutral. Your kings can be queens and vice versa. So, if you guys would like to subscribe, that would be awesome. Please like and share my content. That would be greatly appreciated. And there is options down below if you would like to donate to the channel or become a member of the Spirit of the 1111 community. Okay? So, with the new moon in Aquarius energy, guys, I have the Dark Mirror Oracle that I'm using here for you guys. You know, because Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and um, Saturn here. So this is all about um, things that oppose you, your opposition, and what needs to be changed here. Major change um, with this energy that is here for you guys. So let's get right to it without any further ado. I'm a Taurus of Spirit. What messages from the Dark Mirror Oracle do we have? Take the card. <laughs> Ooh, so we have Fragmentation. Fragmentation. Let me give you guys a visual of that. Let's get, go to the book for you. <laughs> Be pretty awesome to see what comes out with that card. It's number 27. Number 27. Fragmentation reads, When rage is projected inward, destruction joins confusion and we break. Mm. Alright, so if I were to cut off my legs, would I still be me? If I were to carve out my heart, would I still be me? If my flesh would turn to stone, if my lungs were emptied of air, if my dream to fly were to be forced in chains and hanged out like an expired balloon, would I still be me? I fought and lost, broken beyond recognition, not by the shallow sight of bystanders. Who can pity but who can't understand? I cannot even recognize myself through the sobs, through the tears, and when silence finally comes, trout, the empty motions, and the conventional smiles. Who did this to me? I did, maybe, maybe not. What is broken can be mended. Not so that it returns whole, but at least until it tells his name anew, my name. And who will do that to me? I will. Okay. Spirit, spirit, spirit. So, let's get right into the astrology part of this message here with the astrology cards. Spirit, what messages do we have from my lovely, lovely Earth sign of Taurus for their new moon in Aquarius, February 11, 2021? Tarot card reading. Let's get it. Whoa. <laughs> that planet card wanted to come out. I'm not going to take it. I really wasn't feeling it. Let's do it one more time. I like spirits to pick your messages, so I kind of wait for the jumpers here. Okay, the house card. Oh, wow, okay. Second house, hey, for the Tauruses. <laughs> Guys, excuse me, I'm kind of a little runny-eyed here. My allergies are not wanting me to be my best. Charon, Woo. the wounded healer. So you have the second house energy with Charon for the ruling planet here. Um, the dominant planet energy for this tarot card reading. Spare one more card from the Tauruses. And we have another planet card, Neptune, your energy, okay. With the eighth house, I'm taking that as well. So, in this two of the second house energy is ruled by you, Taurus. This is your house. You rule that house, and the energy is about your assets, finances, and the things that you value here. Everyone wants to have Taurus in their second house when it comes to the astrology chart because look at um, the second house energy is all about you know Venus blessing the things that you love that you care for um, you taking a lot of time to work on your assets your money you building yourself you hitting the grindstone getting to it um, I keep hearing she works hard for the money or he it could be vice versa right with this energy someone or something that um, you are growing into that you are becoming holding down your own and more than that coming into your own and doing really really well either this is your energy now or you're definitely walking through the door of this energy here you're on the precipice of it chair on energy so it's about your healing power empathy and ability to teach and to learn remedies some of you guys um are more spiritual than you think 
and this energy um i see you like to take the, tr the non-traditional form and method of healing yourself you like um natural herbs and teas here you may be wanting to um, research some things um from nature natural plant remedy healing methods and people see that it works for you and how good it's doing for you so then they follow your way you know it's kind of like the spiritual teacher kind of like teaching about how the power of the universe and everything around us that every plant in nature is made for a specific reason and can heal us on um a, a cellular level here i see you stepping into that energy being enlightened here so this is something here for some of you guys that's past life energy um the message with this as well um chiron was um so into healing and helping others um when he was wounded um with a deadly arrow he cannot heal himself so because the um self sacrifices that he was making to be up and to show up for others in the end um he wasn't able to heal himself and he succumbed to his injury so this is about not letting people around you see what you're coming into the things that you have going for yourself and come back for an opportunity to be able to feed off of that energy or your assets here um remembering that it's okay to give but give and um in moderation here use discernment with these energies and these peoples and these things that currently surround you here guys um as well i get that from that energy we have your energy no not your energy the energy of the um new moon phase that we are in neptune right your fantasies yearnings longings and potential for illusion so one of the most transformative planets along with uranus that rules aquarius which is the cycle that we're in um to me these energies kind of go hand in hand here um when you think about your illusions when you think about wanting something here or the ability to feel that you want to create something here it could be from your past why did i just get that from your past for somebody and it's linked to marriage it's linked to something about a partnership or a marriage here that's very transformative in your life here or some of you guys could be coming out of this energy and situations but you are longing here for something to come into fruition for something you want something you fantasize about but it's taking you a while to heal from that you know in your energy the second house energy you've been working on it growing your money and finances you've healed you've been healing and now you are just in a state of yearning for something that's not there um, and this could be your person for cross watchers. This could be your energy for the Taurus. So with the eighth house energy, that Scorpio energy, this is the planet of um, rebirth, of transformation. The Scorpio rules the death card and the tarot here. But it's about um, having major transformation here, being on the precipice of a whole new life, right? This is where the old dies out and the new begins to come in. So you're kind of like in caterpillar phase right now. But I see this butterfly emerging and coming out of whatever situation you are in. Beautiful transformation that represents for me. Some of you guys are headed towards partnerships, you know, something that is going to awaken the inner child in you, something that you've wanted and you dream and you've seen for yourself and fantasized about even since you were a child, beginning to manifest. The door here is open, the door to spirit, and they're trying to welcome these energies to you. This card reads... This transformation area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. <laughs> so you're wanting to have someone to share your life with, to share your resources with here. And um, sorry, guys, I had to check my, my text messages. So, yeah, you know, and why I say Neptune is so connected right now with um, Uranus energy, right? Our, our current energies that we have here is because Uranus is about quick change. It's about breaking um, paradigms. It's like, you know, someone that does not follow um, the paths, you go in there, there's no path and you leave a trail here being a trailblazer in that energy. But it's something you long for. This is something that you innately have within you. Um, I feel here, Taurus, um, you're very hardworking, a very hardworking sign here. Um, not the most hardworking of the earth signs, but very hardworking when you find something or someone you love, you show up and you commit and then you focus on family, on growing that. But you're healing from a situation that could have involved something or someone from your past that, um, you know, took advantage of that energy in you with that Chiron energy. And I hope the story that I told about him makes sense for that because, you know, you just can't make these things up. So being self-sacrificial to someone who may be fantasizing and yearning for another chance to come back and enjoy some of this good graces and the shared resources of the things that you have right now. Be very careful with those energies, Taurus. So life experience. <laughs> Archangel Cameo. So this is about a huge, huge change here. Let me get my 
Psychic Tarot ready. Let me refer to my book really quick. Some of these tarot cards, like the Oracle form. So we have, yeah, life experience here. That's like um, the decadence moment here. That's the tower moment, definitely. Um, it's always about a significant life event that has taken place, that is going to take place for some of you guys here. And this energy is Scorpio energy, right? As well as Aries. Um, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings and fly. Um, get ready for it. It's here. Something very powerful is going to happen. It's going to create this beautiful, beautiful train. But it is very transformative here in the 3D for you. Could be your mental and spiritual body as well. So just keep your eyes open for that. Spirit of other messages. For the Taurus, do we have... Whoa. Do we have justice? Okay. Justice. I like justice. Page of water and fire all right so with the justice card here this is libra's energy right this represents something in your life that requires you to make fair and decisions fair and just decisions do what you know is right and standing up for your beliefs here um, when justice shows up with the eighth house energy this is very indicative to marriage so some of you guys are just um going to be getting married here really soon you have someone here that is maybe yearning longing and fantasizing about a huge transformation here it could be someone you had a bad falling out with with a tower moment but this person sees you as someone that they want to create more magical moments with. They fantasize and yearn and daydream and long for this. And for you, that's giving me a bit of a kind of obsession kind of energy when it comes to um, you or this person that wants to come in and, you know, put a ring on it. And then we have page of water here, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly energy. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase or heightened psychic abilities right with the eighth house energy we'll put that there so that's cancer scorpio pisces energy and you know it is just what it is um a new person entering your life it could be the renewal of an old situation here or just you finding the one and finally fall and finally allowing yourself to fall and to receive the highest vibration of all love it's going to be justice being served in your favor there's a win-win outcome forecast for you for this tarot card reading so far Taurus. <laughs> king of fire king of wands right in the regular traditional tarot and what this energy is telling me here um for you guys is that some of you guys are very driven here about taking action going towards what you want you're very charismatic idealistic motivational and ambitious this is about focus 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 right um communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative um, can be coming into your experience to help you out with some things that need a nudge and a pull and push in your life at this point um spirit urges and advises you to go for it to stand here in uh, beautiful energy again <laughs> with the queen of earth this is the queen of pentacles energy is your energy right so i'm definitely seeing here with this energy that you're very nurturing stable um, you're building a stable firm foundation for yourself through your hard work your tenacity right you're persevering through things that have come for you and hurt you in the past here you know um this is making time for those around you taking a sensible approach and dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner here with this queen or king of pentacles type of energy um this is about being thoughtful creative warm yet sensible at the same time you know being able to manage those things in life that maybe at some point you just weren't really so good at if you're going through dark night of the soul it's really hard to see your worth your value and who you are and you become but you've come a long way you've healed or are healing and you know the, the best is yet to come for you guys i'm definitely feeling that so we have with the awakening this is the hangman energies that's piscean energy here and the magician so i really like that for you guys because um somebody that put you guys in a third party situation is having a hard time moving on here okay and they're probably very much still in love with you with the king of water i can't make this up those are your cards and i'm gonna read them as they come <laughs> so the magician card number one virgo gemini energy here um 
Someone has broken your heart. The Tower moment is here twice. And I was wondering if the Tower was going to come back out with fragmentation. Because that's about you putting the pieces of your life and yourself back together here. Working hard, diligently with the Chiron energy. Those that you've been there for, that you've helped and you've healed, that you helped achieve a high um, status in life. Hurting you, stabbing you in the back. Um, literally making way for a be huge, um, beautiful change. Maybe it didn't seem so beautiful when you were in the midst of, but it was a very, very life-changing experience here with that tower moment. I feel that tower that came did not come to destroy your path. It came to clear the path for you for moving forward. Now you are in your awakening energy, Piscean energy. This is about having a whole new perspective of life. This is about sometimes taking a few steps back, looking at your situation in your life from a different vantage point, getting the tenacity and courage with that king of fire air, that very ambitious, um, impulsive, yet creative and um, motivational energy to move forward for your best life, right? Being in that energy gives you the power to be the magician, creating the life you want for yourself by design, not by default. And you're doing it through all of your hard work and efforts. And I'm going to give you accolades and congratulate you guys and tell you to give yourselves a big old pat on the shoulder because you're definitely serving up yourself justice in this lifetime, not waiting on anyone else to come and give you the justice you feel like you deserve. This is about getting it for yourself, right? So this is, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical with this energy of the magician, right? Beautiful. Six of air and three of water. So right here, this is about... Um, these two together represent change. It represents um, heartbreak in the past, someone that put you in a third party situation and you or the person not really um, moving on or having a hard time to move on, but coming out of troubled waters. That's visiting that Chiron energy again here with the uh, fantasy and illusion of Neptune. So it's telling me, um, for some of you, a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun with the eighth house and justice, you definitely be getting married or engaged here, right? Outside of the third party situation, because for others of you, that is what it is. And then with the six of air, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. Hey, so some of you guys are taking a trip, taking a trip, have fun, let it all hang out, live your best life and um, live on the wings of this queen or king of pentacles energy that you guys are creating for yourself with night of water here emotional romantic enthusiastic and contemplative right this is the classic knight in shining armor here um someone wants to celebrate you someone sees you as husband or wife material they're falling in love and they have wedding proposals um this is a need to balance emotions and an invitation to a social event here but you got to watch out for this Neptunian person that's fantasizing because there is somebody close to you that's in that Neptunian energy. They will not let go. They won't let up and they won't let go with that Six of Cups as well. So, <laughs> let's get more cards. Sorry, guys. Look what we got. <laughs> Fulfillment of wishes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Excuse my beeper, guys. My stove is going off. Letting me know to come check on my food. Nope. I got a couple more minutes into your reading. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to go for it. Give me a second if you don't mind. Text my kid to go and do that for me. Okay, back to the cards. So, with the fulfillment of wishes here, this is about... Your awakening, when you take a look back and look at things from a different vantage point, get a different perspective on life and understand that life is not happening to you, that it's happening for you, you begin to be able to fight off anything that no longer serves you, ridding the toxicity out of your life and your experience here. Um, life has created some tough obstacles and challenges for you guys i see that your heart chakra could have even been interrupted here and you did um deal with a lot of deception and envy here um could be from people around you here but you have new beginnings here bow on the precipice of change on the precipice of new beginnings this is where material and spiritual um, prosperity come to you and line up for you because a lot of you guys have did just that you suffered in silence you know a lot of people around you didn't even know what was going on it didn't seem that you were hurting as though because you know you were making positive movement choices and decisions in spite of the pain that you felt in spite of the 
urge to go back to people, places, or situations that created these obstacles and challenges for you. Some of you guys could have fell more into addictive cycles here, whether it be drinking, whether it be drugs, but it's something that had you mentally conflicted here. But then your wishes begin to get fulfilled when you show up and start loving on yourself. You have this person here. That's fucking Neptune energy. I'm sorry, but this person that hurt you, that uh, has fantasies and illusions about you, is looking back. Look, <laughs> looking, like lifting up the mask because this person has deception and envy all in their heart, written all over them, looking at your heart chakra being open, looking at your wishes being fulfilled, looking at the obstacles and the challenges that, you know, had you in this toxic type of cycle and energy, seeing that you have good things coming. You know, if I was you, I would just be really, really careful when dealing with that energy or that person. If that's what you want for yourself, if this person shows back up or comes back, you know, more power to you. But I'm not going to suggest that. I'm going to suggest you keep making those movement choices and decisions that are adding to your material and spiritual prosperity. Because you are, like, ready to take the new beginning with Aquarius energy. And it's great having the new moon in Aquarius um, here for you guys with that Aquarius energy. It's about a brand new start, beautiful beginnings, wish fulfillment, manifesting in the physical for you guys. And spirit said it's playtime. <laughs> Ready, set, and go here. And it's playtime and self forgiveness. Mm. And time to move on. Woo! Okay, spirit. So, playtime. Um, the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracle manifestations. It's going to lead to your wish fulfillment here. Um, healing your heart chakra, allowing yourself to heal from those events, people, or places that hurt you in the past. Um, you're also on the precipice of that too. So um, happy healing and congratulations. Ready, set, go. Um, Spirit says now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desires. It's going to lead for your wish fulfillment. And for some of you guys, marriage, right? Time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that new can come in. <laughs> And baby, 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 I cannot tell you that that is so the energy of the life experience, the tower moment, you know, with Scorpio being here with the transformation of that death of the rebirth, allowing for the old to shed out so the new can come in. It is time. Spirit is telling you it is time to move on. There are new beginnings here for you, new beautiful things. Some of these things are going to come unexpected out of the blue for you guys, but do be ready when they come. I like to say, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. It's better to be ready for an opportunity and not have it than have an opportunity and not be ready. All right, whatever that means for some of you. And we end your guys' message with self-forgiveness. Reads, let go of all guilt and remember that you are God's perfect child. And we just had this for Aries. So there you have it, Taurus. I hope someone got what they needed. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my channel, Spirit of Me 1111. Namaste, my loves.